Hey there guys, welcome back to Full Time FM. How you doing? Uh, so today we're playing St. Johnson at home. Uh, so we're going to have Jakubovic in goal, Kenny, Aya, Julian and Laxalt across the back. Um, Brown and Ferguson in midfield. Brown's coming back from injury. Very much lacking in sharpness, same as Kenny, but I think I'm going to have to start them. Edward is gaining sharpness, but still no better no better for 75 minutes. Um, we've also got Lee Griffiths, no better than 45 minutes, and he's lacking in sharpness. We've got Grillerm and Johnston on the wings, and Clamalla and Edward up front, which should be lethal enough to... Uh, put the Saints to bed got Scott Tanza on the bench um, they're playing Jack McMillan instead of Scott Tanza okay and let's see who they got at centre half instead of Jason Kerr they've got Gordon and McCart So, a good couple of purchases from uh, St. Johnston. Oh, good tackle by Guillermo Knight. Runs all the way to the left hand side. Cuts in through the middle. Oh, he was just working an angle to get a shot in. And Xander Clark saved it. Ross County go 1 0 up against Rangers. Jermaine Hilton getting that goal. We are looking the business this year. We're playing Chelsea in the next game. Um, to be honest with you, I don't hold up much hope for us winning that one. I'm actually um, okay with losing it because we're already top of the group. Oh, Grillerm swings one in and puts it on the head of Lewis Ferguson. That's his sixth goal of the season. Look how the ball leaves uh, after Grillerm's already struck. Watch. <laughs> oh, it does it properly that time. There are times when you'll see the player strike the ball and the ball won't move until after his foot's sort of followed all the way through. Go on, Mark Pugh from Bay Cup in Rochdale. Scores for Ross County against Rangers 2 0. Go on, boys. Should be a good result for this. Um, weekend's results Jakubovic being the man in goal. Be an absolute dude. Oh, Edward. Oh, just wide. Goal kick, St. Johnston. Yeah, I think we're going to play Scotty Bain against uh, Chelsea, so Lord have mercy on us. Um, Jakubovic has been doing really well. Barkas is injured, and I don't need Jakubovic getting injured, so yeah. We're going to play Scotty Bain in the next one. Julian has Scotty Brown and Christopher Ayo in support. Ayo gives it back to Brown. He finds Guillermo inside of Clamalla. Oh, just wide of the post. Dear me. Dear, oh dear me. And both Macmillan and McCarty, who came in for Tanza um, and um, Jason Kerr, are both. Um, basically booked now I'm going to bring Jason Curran for Christopher because uh, he's been booked and I'm going to make another sub as well I'm going to bring Scott Tanzer on for Mikey Johnston um, and I'm going to put Diego Laxalt on the left wing so both um Kerr and Tanza can play against the former teams. There we go. Other than that, um, score our position. Ask the assistant. Got a dress room. Things are going well. Capable of even better. Come on, boys. Come on lads, let's get out there and do it. So Kerr and Tanza come on play against their former team. 
Ferguson heads that on. Stevie May picks it up, but Brown tackles him. Tanza, nice ball to Grillem. Edward, Clamalla. Oh, there you go. He gets his goal. Fifth goal of the season. Patrick Clamalla. We will be bringing on Griffiths for Edward um, on the 60th minute mark. Edward can't do 75 minutes at the moment, so uh, yeah. And Griffiths can't do more than 45, so I figured give Griffiths half an hour and Edward an hour, that should be okay. They will praise the boys actually, they're doing well. Some good ratings amongst them. Edward finds Clamalla again. Keeper's gone down early, and Patrick Clamalla gets his second of the game. Sixth goal of the season. So Ferguson gets the uh, opening goal, and Clamalla gets the next two. 3 0. It's important after that draw we get a victory. Get a good win under our belts. Right, it's a tight offside, but he's on. Let's see. John Joe Kenny was another one, wasn't he? Black Salt on the left hand side. Crosses for Gulerm. Oh, little man heads it just wide. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll bring Ralston on for Kenny. And we'll bring Griffiths on for Edward. There we go. Good little bit of business that. Ralston gives it to Clamella. Oh my god, Rangers winning 4-2 now. Ferguson to Laxalt, must be. Oh, Xander Clark with a save. Let's bring Scotty Bain on. Give him a bit of game time. Um, get him a bit of sharpness before he faces Chelsea. Good save by Jakubovic. we're good just gonna praise the boys watch the result come in 23 shots 12 on target 57 percent possession 15 minutes left to play Clamalla and Ferguson done well today can't believe Rangers are winning 4-2 not after going 2-0 down bloody hell my team Rochdale last weekend we went 2-0 um, behind to Peterborough then we brought it back to win 3-2 and in the last minute one of our midfielders who's a bit hit and miss uh, Aaron Morley he gave away a penalty in the very very last minute and uh, we ended up drawing 3-3 and we're bottom of the league and that win would have took us two positions outside the relegation zone and in just that final final minute it goes and does that so yeah Rochdale bloody hell Rochdale's got to be um, actually one of the hardest teams to manage in football manager 21 and there we go. I do have an idea as to what I'm going to do for a uh, a save that we haven't done yet. I'm going to hit you with it in a week or two because I want to get the games done and set it all up first before I let you know. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to play our least match sharp uh, team against Chelsea. Um, long and short of it we have quite a few players needing games 
needing fitness so it seems like a good idea to basically give them a run out it's a free hit it's an absolute free hit we'll have to take Griffiths off at half time uh, but we can put him up with Edward uh, for the time being my thought is there is probably to bring Rogic on for him um, after half time and just just try and uh, sort of make the game harder uh, for Chelsea uh, low crosses let's mix the crosses right, I think we're good we're going very attacking as well so we're going to go for them it's a free hit like I say result doesn't matter with this we've got 12 points we qualified as champions already um, so we've got Bain in goal Kenny wants Kurt and Taylor across the back Sorrow and Bitten in midfield, Gulem and Johnson on the wings, Edward and Griffiths up front. That's not actually too bad actually, I, I kind of like that, that's uh, not such a bad team actually. Let's go out and play natural game boys. They're playing 4-4-2 as well. Cool. So I think what I'll keep doing is asking the um, assistant Brian Keady for his opinion. Oh, we played five one all five. Sorry, so we got fifteen points. So this is our last game. We can't be caught. Um, Chelsea have six points. We have fifteen. We're nine points ahead of them. Even if we lose, we're still six points ahead. We've absolutely smashed it in Europe. Um, so we're all good. We're absolutely belting. Here's Zayak taking his time with this one let's put it in towards Zuma let's come back to Zayak now Havertz somebody tackle them please oh my word what the hell happened there just because it's a free hit boys doesn't mean you can spank it off oh jeez Look at them one twos in the box. I just went straight through Bain. Bain is crap. Honestly, Scotty Bain in this is terrible. So should be interesting to uh see what happens with the result. Here's Griffiths with a free kick. French Eddie looks as though he wants it. Oh, Mendy had to make that right in the top corner, make that save. Oh, Griffiths puts a corner in that's been dealt with. Let's praise the players. Mm, so, so. We probably should have just demanded a little bit more from them so let's do that oh can't do that just yet mason mount puts one in which bain gets claims that one nicely after half an hour played my dog my dog jess is just staring at me because i'm on the microphone she's like who are you talking to <laughs> abraham oh good save by bain sammy abraham nearly scored again Here's Mason Mount. Ooh. Good corner. We dealt with it. Let's demand more from them. Greg Taylor with a long throw into the box. Zago Silva clears it away. Bitten wins ahead against Tammy Abraham. Well done, son. Mikey Johnson gives it back to Bitten. He looks for Griffiths down the uh, corridor of uncertainty, but Zuma clears it pitch seems to be cutting up a little bit the Stamford Bridge uh, pitch not good Edward finds Griffiths lays it off to Britain he sends it out to Kenny on the right hand side oh Kenny shoots wide John Joe Kenny saw glory there so we've demanded a bit more from the players Oh my 
my god, bit and put it into the mixer and Chelsea struggle to get that cleared and Want gives it to John Joe Kenny. I mean, they're playing alright Chelsea, but we're I mean Sean Want's having a good game. It's you know, he's got a seven so far. Um Bain's got a six point nine, that's not too bad. Um Grillerm's not looking too good. Right, I know I have to take Griffiths off at half time. I know that. Um, I'm thinking maybe bring on a Yeti though for him, just like a straight swap. Gulum's played terrible. Right hand side, I think we'll bring on James Forrest. Bitten's not had a great game. I think we'll bring on uh, Callum McGregor. And sorrow and save a sub just in case we have any injuries it's got a dressing room right you've been unlucky so far there you go looks inspired by that good good comment there by Brian Keady followed that advice that was good let's praise the boys Okay, with a good header out. Oh, Reese James has just slashed one into the back of the net. Scotty Bain. He was at 7.2. He was playing all right. He looked happy. And then Reese James just wrapped his foot around one and just slapped it into the top corner. Oh, mate. Oh mate, that's that's poor. That's poor. Players are flickering with the smiles, they're not sure how to feel. I still don't like this new system of match sharpness and I prefer percentages. Here's Kenny. Johnston! Get in, Mikey Johnston. 2-1. Come on, the boys. You Celtic fans, some of the cheer. Oh, John Joe Kenny also. He um, is recovering from injury. I forgot. So I'll bring Ralston on for him. And I think David Turnbull can come on for Sorrow in midfield. Was Forrest bundled down there? Was it in or out of the box? Jason Kerr's had a poor game at centre half. I'm thinking maybe just bringing Christopher Ayer on no penalty let's bring Christopher Ayer on then sure we're getting a talking to it's his last chance so it must be a free kick Praise the boys. Two ones, not bad actually. Better than I expected. They've had sixteen shots. We've had thirteen. Ben Chilwell to Kai Havertz. Feel a six back to Chilwell. He gives it Georgino. Havertz now picks it up. Giroud lays it back to Georgino. He's going to get tackled by Edward. Good tackle. Well in French Eddie coming back from fitness keep chasing Eddie he's got a Yeti in the box put a crossing on his head oh it's at the near post and didn't give a Yeti a chance Mendy claims it a good cross there and a Yeti I think could have made that 2-2 two -two. Greg Taylor clears that one French Eddie picks it up again inside for a Yeti it is 2-2 I knew it 
I knew it. Albion and Yeti, 2-2. Two, two. Oh my word. Let's be balanced now. Let's take our time. We've got 10 minutes. Let's just see it through. I'll take a draw. Go on. French Eddie to a Yeti. And uh, instructions. So let's lower the tempo down. And be more disciplined. And time waste. There you go, last couple of minutes, 2-2. Two, two. What a great result this is. Oh, they even had seven minutes of injury time. Still couldn't win. There you go. Albion Ayeti, 7.5. Eddie gets a 7.4. Um, Mike Johnson, he scored, but only gets 6.8. Sean Want, signing of the season. 45 grand, gets 7.3. Even Bain got a 7.1. And actually, I think if uh, if I had Jakubovic in goal, we may not have conceded that goal, that Zayat goal. Um, there you go. Oh, they are looking inspired and motivated. Beautiful, beautiful. Sixteen points from six games, plus ten goal difference. Chelsea on zero goal difference go through against uh, Seville. Both of them finish with seven points, um, but Seville have minus two. I think we may have put a dent in their goal difference. Um, but yeah, we did absolute bits. Certainly played our part. Super Sobayeti rescues Celtic. There we go. Uh, 822 grand for a draw. Uh, receive an extra million quid for prize money and let's see let's go to the inbox Afalabi rejects one year contract who, who offered him that director of football he looks alright him you know let's see if I can offer him a contract no he's not interested in it I think the director of football is just effed up there. Dear me. Oh well. Um, live and learn. Live and learn. So whoever this guy is will praise his performance. Ben McPherson, 16 year old uh, centre back. So let's have a little look who we're playing tomorrow. We are playing Kilmarnock and Dundee United. Uh, Dundee United in Betfred Cup quarter final. So that should be a bit tasty. We're literally playing every four to three days. Um, you know, for the next few months. We are absolutely going to get knackered. Right up until Wednesday, 17th of February. And we're currently at. Uh, Wednesday 9th of December or Thursday 10th of December so right until mid-February we're playing every three days that is ridiculous um, but it's got to be done anywho I'd like to thank you for joining us today and make sure you've hit that like and subscribe button don't forget that notification bell as well and I will see you all in the next one tomorrow and get on discord as well um, we're also on Discord, and you know what's coming next.